Hi, I'm Shomag, the designer and developer of Metagrid Pro. And today I'd like to present our new grid that will enable you to control selected channel parameters in Cubase. This grid is accessible for the premium users only. However, please notice that the free version of Metagrid Pro features a great general grid for Cubase that will enhance your workflow with this powerful digital audio workstation software. The grid features lots of dynamic objects that will change their state based on the incoming MIDI messages from Cubase. When I navigate between tracks, Metagrid Pro updates faders and latching switches to reflect the states of respective objects in Cubase. The grid features the transport section with latching switches for start, stop, record, cycle, metronome, pre-count and punch in and punch out. Also, we've got a button that modifies the behavior and appearance of several buttons, giving you access to additional features. This behavior is based on our switch group concept. All the buttons that are now blue are assigned to one group, with this button being the leader. Tapping any blue button will make the grid return to the default state. We've got several useful buttons for showing, for example, VST instrument window, edit channel settings, go to next and previous markers, and so on. Then we've got some selected channel controls like volume and pan faders, solo and mute buttons, and automation options. Then there's a section with various track version features. We also have the bypass section that enables you to bypass insert, sends, EQ, and strip sections. The send section enables you to set send levels and bypass individual sends. And on the right, we've got the zoom section with useful zoom functions. Make sure you have the latest MetaServer version running on your computer. You have downloaded the app-specific resources from our website. And your iPad is connected to the internet. First, you need to import the grid using the new Import from Presets functionality. If you haven't created a profile for Cubase yet, open Cubase on your computer, and in Metagrid Pro, Open the Content Manager. Tap the plus icon in the Profiles area and tap Cubase. This will create a new profile that will be activated each time Cubase becomes the application in focus in a computer. With a Cubase profile selected, tap the Share button in the Grids area and select Import from Presets. Select Cubase Selected Channel and tap Done. Tap Edit on the Scene bar. Tap Primary Grid to Display and select the newly imported grid. Now the grid has been assigned to the scene. Close the Scene Editor and tap Done to leave the Edit mode. In Cubase, create a generic remote device and import Metasystem 3XML file from the app-specific resources you have downloaded from our website and assign MIDI ports to Metasystem MIDI in and MIDI out. If you are new to Metagrid and haven't used it with Cubase yet, you need to add two additional general remote devices and import Metasystem 1 and Metasystem 2 XML files and set them to Metasystem Cubase in out MIDI ports. For more information on setting up Metagrid Pro and Cubase, see DAW and MIDI Setup Guide. To access the guide, tap the profile icon and select DAW and MIDI Setup Guide. This elegant and powerful grid shows the capabilities of Metagrid Pro as a control surface for Cubase. With Metagrid Pro, we have nearly all Cubase commands ready to be assigned to your buttons directly on your iPad. Metagrid Pro also supports bidirectional MIDI CC communication and features Cubase-specific graphics, flexible layouts, powerful macros, MIDI faders, and much, much more. And what's more, Metagrid Pro can control any application on your Mac or Windows computer with several beautiful grids for popular applications available in the free version. Metagrid Pro reacts to the application in focus in a computer and displays the respective content for your favorite application, which makes it a powerful and flexible universal controller for all your favorite applications on a Mac or PC.